Imagine a future where boarding a spaceship to Mars becomes as routine as catching a flight across the country. As space exploration ramps up, driven by both governmental initiatives and the burgeoning private space industry, the question looms, how exactly does prolonged space travel affect the human body? We know that weightlessness can lead to muscle atrophy, bone density reduction, and fluid redistribution. But what about subtler, perhaps more insidious changes happening at the microscopic level within our cells? To delve into this, researchers embarked on a groundbreaking study involving six astronauts who spent 120 days aboard the International Space Station ISS. The goal was to uncover the deeper, systemic responses of the human body to the space environment. They turned to an innovative method called liquid biopsies, which involves analyzing extracellular DNA and RNA in blood samples. Through this technique, they aim to map out the biological changes induced by space travel. A significant focus of the study was on mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell. Previous research has suggested that during space missions, mitochondria are released into the bloodstream. The current study confirmed this and went a step further by isolating these mitochondria using a marker known as CD36. This allowed the researchers to not only estimate the condition of extracellular mitochondria, but also identify the cell types they originated from. This revelation is critical because it provides a window into the systemic changes occurring in various organs. By examining extracellular mitochondria, scientists could infer how space travel affects the brain, eyes, heart, vascular system, lungs, and skin. Intriguingly, similar analyses conducted on mice revealed that these animals experience changes akin to those observed in humans, suggesting a fundamental biological response to the unique conditions of space. For astronauts, the stakes are high. Understanding these changes is crucial for developing countermeasures to protect their health during long-duration missions such as those planned for Mars. Muscle atrophy and bone density loss are well-documented issues, but the new findings about mitochondrial changes add another layer of complexity. These tiny organelles, which produce the energy required for cellular functions, seem to be particularly sensitive to the gravitational shifts experienced during space travel. The discovery that mitochondria are released into the bloodstream during space missions suggests that cells are under considerable stress. This stress could trigger a cascade of biological responses, some of which might be detrimental if not properly managed. For instance, changes in mitochondrial function could impact energy production and cellular health, potentially leading to a variety of health issues. One particularly interesting aspect of this study is the potential for these findings to translate into medical advancements on Earth. By understanding how cells respond to the extreme conditions of space, researchers could gain insights into similar stress responses in terrestrial settings. For example, conditions such as cardiovascular diseases, neurodegenerative disorders, and aging might involve comparable mechanisms of cellular stress and mitochondrial dysfunction. Therefore, space research could inadvertently accelerate the development of treatments for these conditions. Moreover, the study's findings underscore the importance of continuous monitoring of astronauts' health, not just during missions, but also after their return to Earth. The long-term effects of space travel are still not fully understood, and ongoing research is essential to ensure that astronauts remain healthy. By using liquid biopsies, scientists can track changes over time and develop targeted interventions to mitigate any adverse effects. The broader implications of this research extend beyond individual health, as we look to establish a human presence on Mars and potentially other celestial bodies, understanding the biological impacts of space travel becomes a matter of survival. The ability to predict and counteract these changes will be crucial for the success of long-duration missions and the well-being of astronauts involved. In addition to the health implications, this research also highlights the collaborative nature of space exploration. The study involved international cooperation with researchers from various countries contributing their expertise. This collective effort not only advances our understanding of space biology, but also strengthens the global community's ability to tackle complex challenges. As we stand on the cusp of a new era in space exploration, the findings from this study provide a critical piece of the puzzle. They remind us that while the journey to the stars is filled with wonder and excitement, it also requires careful consideration of the biological hurdles we must overcome. By continuing to push the boundaries of science and technology, we can ensure that humanity's venture into space is not only thrilling, 
but also safe and sustainable. In the end, the journey of those six astronauts and the tiny mitochondria in their blood offer a glimpse into the future of space travel. It's a future where the challenges are immense, but the potential for discovery and advancement is even greater. As we continue to explore the final frontier, studies like this one will be essential in guiding our path forward, ensuring that we are well prepared for the adventures that lie ahead.